Blox is a company thinking very differently about smartwatches. This is the Blox Core, and it's unlike any smartwatch you've seen before. It might look like a, an Android Wear smartwatch, but it's not. This runs Android 8.0 Oreo, and it might look like it just does notifications and things like that, but it doesn't. This is a modular smartwatch, and you can enhance its functionality by plugging in little different modules to the strap. It's really clever. The reason Blox has chosen Android 8.0 Oreo rather than Android Wear is because Android is an open system and they can build their own operating system around it that then uses the modules, which we'll show you in a second, to attach. That means it doesn't look exactly like Android Wear. This is a custom interface. And all these little complications on screen will relate to the modules that are plugged into the watch. It's actually quite a neat little system. These central buttons give you your menu, and it's like Android where a swipe to the left and right, your notifications to drag down from the top. So it's a very familiar interface. We think that's a good thing because it's really different the way you use this smartwatch once you start plugging in modules. That's quite a different task. The watch itself like this, the Blocks Core, this is $260 and it's available for pre-order now. It's very comfortable. This, these little lugs that fit on the side here are customizable so you can put your own straps on and you can wear it like this. It does the regular smartwatch things, notifications, step tracking, and um, it'll run Android apps. The reason you're gonna buy the Block smartwatch is because of the modules. That's what makes it really cool and makes it almost unique. What we're looking at here is the basic Blocks core, and these lugs are free of the strap itself. Here are the modules. They're very lightweight. They look actually just like sections of a very chunky metal band. And the way that they work is they simply click into place. And it's a solid, satisfying click. They move around, they don't come out. And on the side, the two little buttons to unplug it. So it's very simple. And the great thing is you don't have to unplug these all the time. We'll come back to why in a second. This one is a button module. We like this one in particular, the adventure module. This is packed full of sensors. There's a temperature sensor, a UV sensor, a humidity sensor. It's designed for outdoor use. So we'll plug him in. And when we do so, you'll see on the screen there we go it alerts you that the module is connected now for us to use that we are in here there and we click adventure which is the uh, module itself and we get the readings once they've synced on screen so it's incredibly simple to bring up this interface. It's not complicated. You don't have to activate different apps. It's all there ready to go. And don't forget, you can add your choice of app into the complication. So if you want something a little bit different, you can put that straight into the complication and you don't have to go through the app menu to find your app. So we'll carry on plugging in a couple of modules. This is a GPS module plugs in to the bottom there and again you get your alert and we can keep going this is a heart rate module and there's your heart rate sensor underneath right there and we plug that in and again it tells you that it's activated this one is an LED module there's a little light inside we plug it in and that can work like a torch or it can work like a notification light on an Android phone. So there's four connected. And then you'd use a strap module to fit in there so you can attach it to your wrist. It's incredibly simple. It's extremely versatile. Now, Blox is thinking about this, like we said, a little bit differently. What they're envisaging is to build this as a platform, not as a smartwatch as standard, 
but to encourage people to build their own modules. For example, a company who wants to build a medical sensor. What they'll do is encourage the building of that to work with blocks rather than that company going out and building their own wearable that just does that. It's a really good idea because this smartwatch will have a user base and an operating system and everything ready to go for that company just to build their own module, plug in, and then an existing user base can go out and buy it. Really great idea. So like we said, the Blocks Core is $260. You get a pack of four modules, which are currently just being finalized in production. They're $140 for four. So for $400, you've got a smartwatch that does pretty much everything you'd want it to. Now, if you're worried that all of these modules are going to kill the battery life, they don't. There's a clever system inside that means that they uh, sleep and you'll get 40 hours of use out of the watch if you're not using the sensors before it needs a recharge and about a day's worth of use when you're using the sensors normally it's pretty much what we see from most other smartwatches. So we're pretty impressed with the blocks, we think it's a great idea, we like the design, it's not heavy and we like the future potential of such a device.